Welcome to Growing Sutrap Pepper Seeds, episode number four. Today's date is January 31st, 2017. <clears throat> I've made uh, several changes over the past week. I didn't really do any YouTube videos here this past week because various things happened to my Sutrap Pepper plants. I used to have three of these pod groupings now I only have two. Here's one of them. This is the first pod grouping. And here's the second pod grouping. The third pod grouping I basically took and most of it got put in cups and the other parts of it ended up going moving back over here into pod grouping number one. So less of these pods and more of the cups now. I've got a total of 56 seedlings right now. 19 are in this pod grouping. Here's the dates and the types. 15 seedlings in here. All the other ones uh, that don't, all the other pods that aren't filled don't have any seeds that are growing in them. Got 14 seedlings in here. As you can see, they're getting a little big for the pods, but as I've found, the seedlings can be a little bigger. They don't need to go in a cup until they get a little larger. And I have also, well, before I tell you about what I've done with the soil in these seedling pods, I'll show you the rest of the cups. This is uh, one of the arrangements. Uh, I've got 21 cups in here. And this is the, um, it's totally full now. I've got this under a thermo, I got a um, seat germinating blanket, heat generating blanket under this, keeping the temperature in there around 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got, these are LED lights, they really don't put off any heat, but they do put off a lot of light. Um, as far as the distance to the seedlings, I'm a little, I still need to think about that a little bit, but you can see that. The heat from the um, heat germinating mat is making a lot of condensation form from all the moisture evaporating off these cups. If you recall, if you recall this this uh, area over here with the uh, heat lamp <clears throat> used to have the three pod groupings in it, and I've converted it into a sort of a little reflecting area. Or the light from this heat lamp up here. This is a heat lamp, an incandescent. Strikes the uh, back here and reflects down into. This is where I'm going to put the other two seed groupings that I just showed you a minute, a few minutes ago. I'm going to put these back. I'm trying to keep the temperature under 90 degrees in this area. Um, so what I ended up having to do to do that, I really, I'm, well, I really need this reflective thing back here. Part of the reason is because I need to have some space. I need to have a part of the room that doesn't have a lot of light bouncing all around in it down here. So the way I'm adjusting the, I'm trying to keep the temperature below 90 in here by um, increasing the, I mean, pointing the this light, this heat lamp, further up towards the ceiling. I'm, I've got a real cheap setup here. I'm trying to keep it cheap, but I'm also trying to maximize what I've got with what I've got. When I when I'm cupping the, um, the the seedlings that are getting a little tall here, the ones I cupped here in the past couple days that, that I just showed you a minute or two ago, I'm putting this new seed, this seedling mix that I bought that was recommended to me from other pepper enthusiasts, uh, hot, super hot pepper enthusiasts. So I am using this as, uh, and you can see that basically it is it look, appears to be mostly it's a spec. It's these, these cups here that have the uh, perlite in it. It's like a perlite mixture. You can see it, but it's a perlite mixture with uh, sphagnum. Um, you know, basically peat moss, and I'm not sure what else. It's real expensive. The soil uh, is it's a mix, so I'm thinking maybe I could make my own, but definitely need to be using something that drains easily and allows the moisture you put into these, you know, the um, 
and you add the water into these, these evaporate easily, you know, every day or so, to the point. You basically want to allow the moisture to evaporate from each of these pods and almost make it t completely dry each of these pods before you rewater them again. Just to kind of gauge where I'm at right now, most of the seedlings in this pod grouping number two were put in about 25, 25, 26, 27 days ago. And this is what they kind of look like. They kind of are looking a little, there's some of them, um, I was told that may be a little nitrogen deficient because of the color of the